Christ, I'm back. Today I'm going to read Luke 11 to 17, Proverbs 11 and Psalm 70, 74. Let's get started. And now Jesus was praying in a certain place, and he came to his disciples said, Lord, teach us to pray. As John told his disciples, and he said to them, When you pray, say, Now, Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins. We ourselves forgive anyone who is indebted to us, and lead us not in temptation. And he said to him, Which of you who has a friend go to the Go to him at midnight and say to him, Friend, let me through your place. For a friend of mine has arrived on journey. I have nothing to set for him. When you answer from within, do not bother me. It was not shut. My children are with me in bed. And he cannot get out and give you anything. I tell you, though he will not get out and give him anything, because he is his friend. Yet because of his impudence, he will rise and give him whatever he needs. And I tell you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. Everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds. So when he knocks, it will be opened and for him. Well, father among you, if his sons ask for fish, or instead of fish, give him a serpent. Or if he asks for an egg, we'll give him a scorpion. If he then who are evil and know how to give gifts, gives to each other. How much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? Now he was casting a uh, demon that was me, and demon had gone out of the meat man's spirit, and the demon made people marvel. Some of them said, He cast out demons by Beelzebub, the prince of demons, while others to test them kept seeking him from the sign of heaven. And he, knowing the thought, said to him, Every kingdom divided against itself is like this, and divided household falls, and the same as is divided against itself. How can you stand? They say that I cast out demons by Beelzebub, and if I cast out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore, there will be no judges. No, if it's by the thing of God, I cast out demons. And the kingdom of God has come upon you. And a strong man here of the army guards his own violence. He's is good to say, for the one stronger than him, he attacks him. He overcomes him, he takes away his armor. Yet you trust it, and you divide his ball. Whoever is not with me is against me, whoever does not gather with me scatters. And the unclean spirit has gone out of a person, he passes through the world, his place is seeking rest. And finding him none, it says, I will return my, to my house from which I came. And when he comes, you'll find it. He finds the house sweat and put on And he goes and brings seven other spirits more even than itself. And he entered the there. And the last day of that person is worse than the first. And he heard these things, one in the crowd raised the voice and said to him, This is the wind that bore you, and the breast of it witching us. And he said, Blessed are all of those who hear the word of God and, and keep it. And, keep it. and the crowds were increasing, he began to say, This generation is more of damnation. It ceased for a sign, but no sign will be given to it except the sign of Jonah. And as Jonah became a sign for the, to the people in Nineveh, so the son of man beat his generation. The queen of the south will rise out at the judgment with the men of this generation. And Gnome, which came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and he held something great in Solomon's here. The men of Nineveh will rise against the judgment, rise out at the judgment with this generation. And he died for the open earth, preaching at Jonah. And we hold something greater than Jonah's there. And no one after lying the lamp put in a cellar under a basket. On the stand, so that those who enter may see the light. Your eyes are lamp of your body, and when your eyes are healthy, your whole body is full of light. When it's in bed, your body is full of darkness. Never be careful as the light in you is be darkness. When your whole body is full of light, having no part dark, you'll be holy bright. And it's in the lamp with this rays gives you light. Now Jesus was speaking of him. And first he asked him to die with him. So he went in and reclined the table. The rest he was just down and astonished to see the human that first washed before dinner. And the Lord said to him, Are you for us these clients outside the cup and of the dish? Inside you are full of grief and wickedness. If all it did not hear me the outside and make the inside of yourself, because I am so sinister and always know. And I hold everything I can free. And I wrote to you for us, eat and wait high commit and bury it in every cup, and neglect justice and the love of God. These you ought to have done, without neglecting the other. What is you for us? We have the best seen as you have the graves and mark places. I do, for you are my unmarked graves, and people will walk over them without knowing it. And the way is answered. Teach and say anything seemingly in such a session. He said, Woe to you, lawyers, I said, for you load people with burdens, hard to bear, and you yourselves do not touch the burdens with one of your fingers. Woe to you, for you build the chains of the prophets whom your fathers killed. So you are so you are witnesses, and you consent to the deeds of your fathers, and they killed them, and you built the chains. And therefore I said with the wisdom of God said, I was in the prophets and apostles, some of whom they will come and persecute. So that the blood of all the prophets share from the foundation of the world, he was charged against his generation, and the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah. Well, Zechariah, he perished between the altar and the sanctuary. Yes, I tell you, it will be required this generation. Woe to you, Lord, for you have taken away the key of knowledge. You did not endure yourselves, and you hindered those who entered. And as he went away from the enterprise and the Pharisees began to press him hard, and to break him to speak about many things, running away from him to catch him in something he might say. In the meantime, when so many thousands of the people had gathered together, so that they were trampling one another, he had to say his disciples first, You were the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. Nothing is covered up that will not be revealed, or hidden that will not be known. 
Where for whatever you sell, sell and talk. Show me her the way and what you whisper and cry and show me how you pass it. I tell you, my friends, do not fear that you should go away. Do not fear that I curse you. After that, I have nothing. After I have nothing more that you can do. I warn you, you whom to fear, fear him. Here, after he is killed, has authority to cost and tell. He has to tell you fear. I don't fire spare a soul for two pennies. And not one of them is forgotten before God. Yeah, I, even the head of your head I will remember. You know, you have more value than any spare, any spare. I tell you, everyone who acknowledges before me, so I may very soon acknowledge you and all the angels of God. No one who denies me before me will be denied for the angels of God. Yeah, yeah, everyone who seeks a word against some men will be forgiven, but the one who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. They bring him forward to the synagogues and the rulers and the authority. Don't be anxious about how you should defend yourself or what you should say, for the Holy Spirit will say, and teach you in that very year what you ought to say. So I'm going to cry out to him, teach it to my brother to divide the inheritance with me. And he said to him, he said to him, Man, who made me judge or arbitrator over you? He said to him, Take care and be on your guard against all covetousness. One's life does not consist in their one's possession. He told them a parable, saying, I have a rich man which is plentifully. He thought it to himself, What shall I do for I have no one to store my cups? And he said, I'll do this. I'll take down my barns and build the ones, and they'll store all my grain and my gifts. I'll say to my soul, So you have ample goods later for many years. Relax, eat, drink, be merry. And God said to him, For this night you'll resolve over your cry. And I love you, and the things you prepare, where will they be? So as the one who lays up treasure for himself is not rich to all God. And he said to his disciples, If I tell you, don't be anxious about your life, when you know how bright your body will, what you put on. For life is, life is more than food, and body more than clothing. He said to the ravens, you neither say nor be, and you neither store house nor barn. Yet God be, and how much more value are you than the birds? And of which, and which you hear by being anxious can add a single hour to a span of life. If you then are not able to do a small, a small other thing as that, we are anxious about the rest. And so the ladies, how they grow. And neither to nor spend me, I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory does not grow like one of these. Who God so clothes the clothes the grass which is alive in the field today, and tomorrow's throw it into the oven, how much more will he clothe you? Are you a little faith and do not seek what you are to eat and what you are to drink, nor be worried. All the nations of the world seek after these things, and the Father knows that you need them. Instead, seek a kingdom, and these things will be added to you. If you are not a little fool, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. So your possession is good to me. Who are yourselves in the earth that do not grow? And if the treasure in the heavens that does not fail. You are no thief or fresh and they will destroy. But where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So you dress for action and keep your heart from lamps burning. And be like men who are waiting for their master to come for him from the wedding feast. So they may open the door to him at once when he comes and knock. And so those sounds when and the master finds a way when he comes. Do I say to you, dress himself with slippers and have him recline the table? And he will come and serve. So he comes in the second watch and, the third, and finds him awake. But still, those sounds. And know that is that if the master of the house knew what hour the thief was coming, or you were not allowed to have to be broken into, the earth must be ready for the son of man coming in. Now you do not expect. You, Peter said, Lord, are you telling this parable for us or for all? And we'll say, Who then is the faithful and wise manager? And the master will set over his house. They have been their portion of fear at the proper time. This is that servant whom his master will find so do when he comes to it as he do. He will set him over all his possessions. And that servant says to himself, My master is delayed in coming, and begins to beat the male and female servants to eat and, drink and get drunk. Must that servant come on a day when he doesn't expect him? And that now he doesn't know him, come in peace and put him with the unfaithful. And that servant who knew his master's will, but did not get ready or act according to his will, was serious of the being. And to the one who did not know and do or do what was deserved to be, or see the light be, and one to whom much is good, of him much will be required, of, and from him to whom they acquire and trust him much, he will demand them all. They came to cast fire on the earth, and with that he will already come up. I baptize them to be baptized with, and I will raise my distress until it is accomplished. Do, and do they all be, will they all, will be weeping and gnashing their teeth? When you see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, but you shall cast out. I'll start, and the people will come from east and west, and from north and south, and require a table in the kingdom of God. And I'll some, some are last who will be first, and some are first who will be last. And at that very hour, some Pharisees came and said to him, Get away from here, for Herod wants to kill you. And he said, Go and tell that fox, and when I cast out demons and form cures today and tomorrow, from the third day I finish my course, nevertheless I must go on my way today and tomorrow and the day following. But it can't be that a prophet should perish away from Jerusalem. When Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the seed of the prophet stands down to the earth and center. It's your center. The center. How often would I have gathered you would jump together as a hand cuts a bread under a waist, and you are not willing to be holding your hands for a second. And I tell you, you will not see me until you say, as here comes the name of the Lord. And on Sabbath, when he went to dine at the house of the Lord, the Pharisee, 
and watching it carefully in the whole dozen men for a period and can go see drops in driven G Jesus respond to the voice in first you say this is lawful to heal on the Sabbath and they were my son so he took him and healed him and healed him and sent him away and he said to them which you have a son or an ox that's fallen into a world or something who are not immediately born now and they cannot reply to the <clears throat> and they cannot reply to these things and he told the power to those who were and he noticed how and notice how they choose the places on the same to them. And you're invited by when you're invited by someone to a wedding. Please do not sit down and huh? place it on him. That's someone more deceptive than you be invited by him. And he invited you both will come to see him. You have a place to this person and then you'll begin with him to take the last place. And then when you when you are invited when you invite go and see the last place. So that when you hope comes you may see you. Pray move apart. And you'll be honored in the presence of all who sit at the table with you. Everyone who exalts himself with him, but all who himself will be exalted. He said, I said, the man who invited him. When you give a dinner or a banquet, he would not invite your friends or your brothers, or your relatives or rich neighbors. I say, I should invite you in return, be your pay. And you give a feast and invite the poor and the crippled, the lame, the blind. And you'll be blessed because they cannot repay you. And you'll be repaid at the resurrection of the just. And one of those who are going to the table with him had these things. He said to him, Blessed is everyone who eat bread in the kingdom of God. So he said to him, A man wants to give a great banquet. A great banquet and invited me. And at a time for the banquet, he sent a servant to say to those who have been invited, Come, for everything is now ready. That they all like begin to make excuses. I said to him, I have bought a few. Uh, I must go out and see it. I at least have an excuse. And I said, I bought five yoga books and I must go uh, go to examine Please have me excuse. And I said, I am married away, and therefore I cannot come. So the servant came and reported these things to his master. And the master of this house became angry and said to his son, they said to his son, You are quickly to the streets and lanes of the city, and bring in the poor and crippled and the blind and the lame. And the servant said, What are you commanding to his daughter? And they still was with And the master said to his son, Go to the highways and hedges and compel people to come in, and my house may be full. I tell you, none of those men who are invited shall kiss my bank. And there were great crowds company here, and he turns it to anyone who comes to me who doesn't hate his own father. Hates his own father, his mother, or wife, John. And both of them says, Yes, he and you and his own life. He can't be my disciple. Whoever does not bear his own cross and come out to him, he can't be my disciple. Which he is designed to be the town, does not first sit down and count the cross. And he is enough to come along completely. Now, this when he has laid a foundation, is not able to finish. Or is he begin to mock him? And in the same begin to burn, I was not able to finish. Nor keep him going out to him, he can't turn out another king of the not sitting down, sit down first until we're right. Now, the king is able to. To liberate whether he is able with ten thousand to meet him. He comes against him with twenty thousand. And not all the others, yet a great way off. He sends a delegation also to him for peace. And therefore any one of you who does not renounce all that he has cannot be with cannot be made separate. So it's good, but if soul has lost his taste, and I shall as well as be restored. It is of no use either for the soil or for the manual power. It's the only way he is used to hear about here. And I'm very taxed since we all join me too. Here and the verse is inscribed on the same. His name is his citizen eats with me. So you talk of this Bible. What man are you having a hundred sheep if he's lost one? That's not be easy than ninety-nine over a hundred. Go on to the one who has lost it until he finds it. His hand he lays on his shoulders and rejoices and he comes and he, and he comes and he calls together his friends and then his neighbor saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I am a sheep. For I am a sheep that was lost. Just I tell you, there'll be more joy. No joy, more joy in heaven over one so who repents there. And then nine over nine nine persons, right persons who need no repentance. And one woman having ten silver coins, and she loses her own coin. Uh, does not lie and sweep the house to diligently until she finds it. And when, and when she's found, she calls together all who she calls together friends and neighbors, saying, "No rejoice with me, for I have found the coin that I lost." Just so I tell you, there's joy before the angels of God over one sin that repents. They said there was a man who had two sons. And the younger of them said to his father. Father, give me the share. Father, give me the share of property that's coming to me. And he divided his property. And he divided his property between. Them. Well, many days later, his youngest son gathered all that he had and took it, and took a journey into a far country. And there he squandered his his property and breakfast living. And when he sent everything for severe famine arose in that country, he began to be in need. So he went to hide himself and. Uh, one of the citizens of that country. He sent it into the fields to feed pigs, and they longed to be with them, and them. He fell with the pot of the 
the pigs and he no gave him anything. Then he came to himself. He said, How many of my fathers have fathers had sons? I have more than enough for ever. How is he going to come? Now arise and go to my arise and go to my father. I'll say to him, Father, I am I sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer what to be called your son. Jamie is one of your high sons. He rose and came to his father while he's still a long way off. His father saw him and felt compassion and ran and embraced him and kissed him. His son said to him, Father, I sinned against heaven. Sinned against him before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Then the father said to his son, Bring quickly the best robe and put on and put a ring on his head. And she has feet, then bring the fan cough and kill her. And let's eat and celebrate, for this is my son that was dead. And it is alive again, he was lost in his family. And again to celebrate, and now I also was in the field. And he came in Jamie to the house. He had music and dancing, and he called one of the servants asked for these things. And he said to him, Your brother's come. And your father killed the fan cough because he received him back safe and sound. And he was angry and refused to go in. His father came in and chased him. He answered your father and his father, Look, these many years have I served you. I have served you, and I never disobeyed your command. Yeah, you never gave me younger, and I might celebrate. Celebrate with my friends. And then somebody else came who divided your property with prostitutes. And he killed the son and called for him. And he said, Son, you're always with me. All that, all that is mine is yours. And I was waiting to celebrate me, God, for this your brother's dead. And is alive. He's lost in his home. And he used to discover. And there was a rich man who had a manager. And charged people brought to him that this man was wise things possession. He called him and said to him, You must just die here, but you turn the account of your management. The account will no longer be a manager. The manager said to himself, What shall I do? This is a master taking the manager away from me. I am not sure what to do. I am ashamed to pray. I, I have decided what to do. I said that when I remove my management, he may receive me into the house. So if somebody has lost his debt, will be one. He had to request, How much money do you? How much money do you have the last, last he said, a hundred minutes or and he said to him, take your bill, sit down quickly and write fifty. And he said to him, how much do you have? He said, a hundred measures of me. And he said to him, take your bill and write eighty. And I must commend the dishonest master for shrewdness. The sons of the water of the more shrewd in dealing with the end generation. Then the sons of the light. I tell you, make friends by a voice of it means I'm righteous well. So that when it fails they may receive you into each other God. One who is faithful in very little is faithful in much. One who is dishonest in very little is dishonest in much. If you then if you have not been faithful in the unrighteous world, he will entrust you the true riches. And if you have not been faithful in that which is another, he will give you that which is your own. And if someone can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. He cannot serve God in money. The first is who are lovers of money, hold of these things, and they dig with him. And he said to him, You are those who justify yourselves before men. You can't notice your heart. The reward is his order among men. There is an abomination in the sight of God. The Lord and the prophet sent to order until John. And since then, the good news of the kingdom of God is preached. No one forces his way into it. And it is easier for heaven and earth to pass away. And for one the other Lord to become Lord. No one who divorces his wife and marries another coward and marries another commits adultery. He marries a woman, divorces her husband, commits adultery. There was a rich man who was clothed in purple and a fine linen, and he feasted presumptuously every day. As he ate, there was laid a poor man named Lazarus, who was sore, who designed to be fed with what fell from the rich man's table. However, even the dog thing licked his sores. The poor man died, was carried by the angels to Abraham's side. The rich man noticed that was buried, and he hated his being in torment. He lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham's father, and Lazarus sat aside, and he called him Father Abraham, and I said, And Lazarus did the end of his finger and water, and called my tongue fire and anguish in his flame. Abraham said, Child, remember that you and your lifetime received the good things, and Lazarus and the lifetime are bad things. And now he's confident he and you are in anguish. And it's not as well as between you and us and you, a great chasm has been fixed. Well, that those who have passed over from here to you will not be able and not may cross from there to us. And he said, Then I beg you, Father, to send him into my father's house, for I have five brothers, so that he may warn them. And they also come into this place of torment. Uh, Abraham said, They are most and prophet. Let us let them hear them. And he said, No, Father Abraham, but if someone goes to them from the dead, no, and you said to him, If they do not hear me, the prophet, then they will be, they be convinced if someone should rise from the dead. And he said to his disciples, Temptation to sin, and ask you to come, but woe to the one who threw him may come. It would be better for him if a millstone were hung around his neck, and I cast him to see that he should call from among these little ones to say, He did not do so. If a brother sins, we be him. There you are, hands forgiven. If he sins against you seven times in the day, it turns you seven times, and saying, I repent, you must be given. The apostle said to the Lord, and said to the Lord, Increase your faith, and the Lord said, If you have faith like a grain of a mustard seed, you can say to a small bird, tree, be uprooted and climb in the sea, he would obey you. Or any one of you who has a servant dying or of keeping sheep, say to him, when he is coming to you. 
when he's coming to food. Now I want to acquaint a table. Maybe not allow the stage and prepare supper for me. Enjoy it properly. Is there any way you enjoy? Not to do it, enjoy. I need to thank the seller because he did all that he was committed. So you, I said, when you've done all that you were committed, say, no, I'm with you, sir. We've only done what was our duty. On the way to Jerusalem, he was he was passing along some area cabinet. And then he, as he entered the village, he was met by ten mothers. He stared at this. Then lifted up their voice, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And he saw that he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priest. As they went, they were once. And one of those when he saw the heels, he would turn back, raising God's loud voice. And he found his face at Jesus, being given thanks. But now he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answered, Will you not turn close? The other night, there was no one around to return. And I give praise to God, except the foreigner. And he said to him, I can go your way. And faith will make you well. Being asked by the Pharisees that the kingdom of God would come, he answered them, The kingdom of God is not coming in the midst that cannot be observed. Nor will they say, Look, here it is, or there, for behold, the kingdom of God is in the midst of you. And he said to his disciples, to the disciples, the days are coming when you desire to see one of the days of the Son of Man, and you will not see him. And he said to you, look there, or look here, don't go out and follow them, or follow them. Or as the lightning flashes and lights at the sky, from one side to the other, so that the Son of Man be in this day. But he first he must suffer many things and be rejected by his generation. Just as it was on the days of the so will it be, so will it be in the days of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking and marrying and being given in marriage, until the day that no one no end to the earth. Then the fire came and destroyed them all. My question is, it wasn't days ago. They were eating and drinking, glad and buying and selling, planting and building. They were all not taking them all went up from sin and and self and rain from heaven. They destroyed them all. So will it be on the day when the sun is risen, on the day left the Lord, and the one who was on the house, let his goods on his house. If the house not come down to take them away, and likewise let the one who was in the field not turn back. Remember the Lord's wife. Whoever sees to preserve his life will lose it. Whoever loses his wife will keep it. I tell you, in that night there will be two in one bed. I will be taking the other left. There will be two women grinding together. I will be taking the other left. And he said to him, Where the Lord? He said to him, Where the corpses? There the vultures will gather. Proverbs 11. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord. An abomination to the Lord. What a just way he says to mine. And pride comes down, comes disgrace with the humblest wisdom. The integrity of that right guides them, with the crookedness of the treacherous destroys them. Which is jump off in the day of life. The righteousness delivers from death, the righteousness of the land is way straight, but the wicked falls by his own wickedness. The righteousness of the right delivers them, the treacherous are taken captive by the lust, and the wicked dies of his hope of rising the expectation of what precious too. The righteous deliver from trouble, and the wicked walks into and the wicked walks into it instead. But his mouth and mouth, godless man will destroy his name, though he knows the righteous man. Righteous are to live. When he goes with the righteous serious, and the wicked person is shocked to us. And the blessing of that right city is exalted, and by the method of the wicked is everything. Her upper lives is the name of like sense, but the man hides the name of my son. Who goes about slain and reveals secrets? He is trustworthy and spirit keeps the covered. But there is no guise of people falls, and the ones who counsel is their safety. And when it puts up security for a it will show itself a harm. Any striking hand and pledge is secure. No gracious woman gets on, the violent men get riches, and the man who has climbed benefits himself. And a cool man hurts himself. We can ask the subject of age, but one who says righteousness is great to show. Whoever steps in righteousness will live. He who pursues evil will die. Whoever is quick heart and abomination to the law. Whoever is blind for his delight. He is sure an evil person will come punish. The last one of the righteous will be delivered. Like gold ring in the pig's eyes, a beautiful woman without discussion. Inside the righteous ends only good, and the exhortation will give him life. One gets true, Nick goes with rich, and that's why it's where he should go. When his office won, whoever brings blessing will be enriched, and one will himself be rewarded. He will curse in the hearts back away, and the blessings on the head of him is sold. He will turn to Joel gently, seeks good, seeks people. He will come to him in such a way. Whoever trusts in his riches will fall. And the righteous will flourish like a green leaf. Whoever trusts in his own household will have the way, and the fool will be seven to the wise heart. Free the righteous is true life. Whoever captures souls away. And the righteous will repay on that. How much more the wicked and the sinner? Proverbs, pro, Psalm 70, Psalm 70, Psalm 77. 76. In Judah, God is known, his name is great in Israel, his abode has been established in Salem. His dwelling place in Zion, they break the flesh and iron, his shield, the sword, and his shield, the sword, and the weapons of war. God is a humble and majestic, and the man's full of prey. A staff, stout heart, or a strict of this ball, who sank to sleep, or the men of war, who are unable to use their hands, like you are a good girl, God is king. Who is right in the horse lay stand, and you, who you are to be feared, who is then for you, before you, and once your anger is rise, and the heavens you are to judge, and the earth you are still. And God raised to his own children to stay with the humble of the earth. So the wrath of man will cry out for his evil. I'm not right, he shall put on. He will put on like a bell. The advice to the Lord, you come before him. That all around and bring goes to him who is to be feared. He's not the spirit of princes who is to be feared by the king of the earth. And then it's done. I shall now do the Lord's prayer. And he's very happy. The Father in heaven, the Holy Spirit. He will be on the come. You will be done. That's in heaven. It's done. I will be 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 done
Ikke noget, det er en passion, det er sådan en, og næste kigge, fandme, gør det færdig, og man ses tomorrow. Bye.